Vancouver Island University's Advanced Diploma in GIS Applications, now well established, continues to attract the attention of students and employers from all over British Columbia. More than 90% of graduates find jobs in the industry. Geographic Information Systems, or otherwise known as GIS, is a uh, computer-based system in which we can store geographic information and we can call that information up in map format at, uh, at any time. In other words, we can select whatever it is we would like to display in a map. GIS actually started in Canada as uh, CGIS, or Canadian Geographic Information Systems. GIS is changing our world. Almost every field of study has a spatial component, and GIS is bringing a new perspective and a new set of tools to many different fields. In the field of wildlife management, for example, we can now see animal distributions in ways never before possible. I did a, um, a project for the South Okanagan Stewardship Program, and they're doing a uh, Bear Smart project in Penticton. This is the city of Penticton, and you can see there's concentrations of uh, bear calls and, and uh, cougar calls on the outskirts of the city, which is what you'd expect. I've mapped also the um, elementary schools and parks and uh, campsites and human use areas uh, in and around land within these areas that might be considered a higher chance of having bear-human conflicts. The darker the area sort of symbolizes an area that has a high level of attractants, whether it's garbage or agricultural attractants. The students each have their own laptops and they've got all the software loaded on the laptop so they can use it anytime they like. They have access to the lab for the teaching portion of the course, but then when they go home, if they've got a high-speed connection, uh, they can access all their data from the server here on campus and uh, they can do, or do their assignments that way. And when they go out on the practicum, they still have access to uh, the license manager and the software and all that sort of thing. So. Uh, the people that they work with don't necessarily have to have that really expensive software uh, to do their GIS projects. We wanted to try and let the students have a chance to chase their own practicum if they could. So if they had a specific interest in either municipal planning or, uh, as you heard from Steve, uh, bear biology and stuff like that, uh, they had a chance to chase their own practicum. Those that had difficulty, we had a number of organizations like the city here approach us and try and get students to do their particular projects. Graduate students come to the program with a broad range of backgrounds from veterinary medicine to geography to radio communications. This leads to an exciting classroom atmosphere in which all students participate. I've got a degree from UVic in geography. I had a little bit of experience with this before and I was hoping to I guess, go further in the field and then I just found out this is a new program being offered at Malaspina here and it was well-timed and, and it was a good choice, I think. I definitely enjoyed it. The demand for, for trained GIS people is just going through the roof. Uh, programs like Malaspina, as I see, it, is very uh, practical and the, uh, and the different course elements are absolutely what is being used out there in the, in the field these days. I feel the program at Malaspina really prepared me well for my transition into the workplace. I, I am now employable. I have the skills to be a GIS technician in the field today. And my advice would be to take the program. This program is also now available online. For further information, please contact the Centre for Continuing Studies at Vancouver Island University.